You guys, I am in a standoff with my dog. Look at this. What? See what she's got there? She got the pizza off the kitchen table. If I let her eat it, she will puke. Ow! guys happy hump day what were you saying i read something on the internet about some old woman who's like 52 or something old woman 52 how old are you 53 no he's not 53 but okay so this 52 year old woman is having her daughter's child i guess her daughter had cervical cancer maybe you guys saw the article i didn't see it she has cervical cancer, and when they went to take out her uterus? They, they do a pregnancy test Oh, beforehand. turned out that the daughter was pregnant, so they implanted that embryo, was it an embryo? Yeah. Into her mother, her 52-year-old mother, which is awesome. I just said to Sam that I would do that for my kids if I had to. It might kill me, but I would do it for them, because everybody needs a baby. It might not work, though. If you saw my rant from yesterday, I also want to add that every girl, every mother needs a daughter and every father needs a son. Every father needs a daughter and every mother needs a son. Yeah, that's true. We need both different sexes so that it, we turn into well-rounded people. I think I'm a half-sided person so far, only used to living with men. Man, it is hard. Oh, living with men is hard. Just just being surrounded solely by men all the time is hard. I feel like I'm jaded. Today is a grouchy day. Seems like the girls did not get enough sleep. Sam actually woke them up 10 minutes early. 10 minutes early? Yeah, 10 minutes early. And things are not going well. But look at, we've been breaking out the spring wardrobe. And Sophie's wearing a skirt that she got last year. But see this cute little shirt here? His dance on it's got all these little things on there. Well, last year when Sophie went to jun junior kindergarten, in Canada we have um, two years of kindergarten and the kids start when they're four and go two years. And some kids start when they're three. Sophie was still still three when she started kindergarten. But anyway, she went to school and she wore that shirt for the first time and she loved it and she picked all those little sparkly things off and gave them to her friends. Remember that? It was so funny. See little holes there in her shirt? You're spilling cereal all over your shirt, my love. But yeah, she picked them all off and she picked a bunch off and gave them to her friend. So I told her today, don't pick them off. Right? Well, guess what? Sophia's a thief. She stole this. She stole a whole penny? No, she stole oh. five cents. Did you steal five cents? Who stole the five cents from the fruit bowl? No. Was it you? Sophie? It was me. It was you? No, she stole it from me. I took them both out and put them here because they're the United States money. American so money? I, uh, no, the United States. Oh, not American money. It's just the United States money? Okay. So, this is Penny and, and this is a nickel. That's right. So that's, all together I have six cents. Six cents, that's right. Gabby's learning money in school. She's learning really well. Um, did you know that American money is the same as United Hi. States? So today is hump day and that brings us only two days left until March break. What are we gonna do Friday night? We are gonna have a party. Well, um. We both have birthday parties. On the 17th, which is St. Patty's Day, um, well... I'm very strong. You are very strong. Well, um, we are going to... I only know Nona's house, right? Are we going to their house, or are we just going to Toronto? Toronto, yeah, Toronto. Oh. <laughs> just Toronto. Because... Yep, on St. Patrick's Day, we are going to Toronto, and... Um, I don't know what else we're going to do for the March break, but it's going to be fun. But our car is still giving Sam trouble, so he is, took, it in, took it in last night. Took it in last night. 
He's supposed to take it in on Saturday because that's when our mechanic is back. But I think he took it in yesterday and I don't know, I forgot to listen to that part. I know he took it in, that's all I heard. Um, did you just notice I'm not in not yesterday's not vlog that yeah, Sam told the girls it's time for homework, it's time for homework, and they didn't listen, and they didn't listen. And then Sophia did a sneak attack where she said, hey, Dad, help me play this game. And Dad said, what did Dad say? No, Sophia, get your homework done right now. What did Dad say? He said, oh, you want help to play a game? Did you see that in the vlog? Right, and then she distracted him by giving the doing this giving birth game, and they played it for like another 15 minutes instead of doing homework. Good job, nice job, Sophia. Doing a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, she is awesome. They're both awesome. Oh, and then Sophia left. And then Sophia left. And then Dad was right. <laughs> <laughs> See, girl, after my own heart. It's true. That did happen in the vlog yesterday. So oh, Sophia snuck Dad, made talk Dad into playing this oh, game God. with her. She got him hooked onto the game. This crazy Elsa game where she gives birth. And then yeah. Sophia walked off and did her own thing and Dad <laughs> stayed there and played the video game and he was so excited because she actually gave birth. So yeah. what's the status of the computer? Do you like it? It's Ninja. I hate the part that keeps on stopping, like pausing and going. So the status of the new computer is that Gabby hogged the whole thing. She didn't even let so poor Sophia have a little turn on it. No wonder Sophia was upset when she didn't have her own because she probably knew so Gabby was going to hog the whole thing. So Dad's going to look for one for Sophia, right? Just a smaller one, something that she can handle, that she can manage. But Gabby found not, one. So Gabby was watching a movie on a program, like a net, Netflix type program, and that program sometimes will stop. I think it's like just if too many people are on our internet, which there are always too many people on our internet, and um, it'll lag a little. So it was lagging a little, so she got frustrated with the computer. But do you understand what I mean? How it's not the computer doing that, it was the program, it was the internet. supposed to be eating breakfast. <laughs> Gabby said to me last week, we should make Wednesday pizza night. And I said, okay, maybe we'll do it at least once every couple weeks. I like to do homemade pizza, but feeling kind of lazy because it's such a nice day outside. So we're going to I'm down here at the Pizza Pizza Shop and I'm going to order pizza and then take it home. And we eat the gluten-free stuff. So I'll be getting some gluten-free pizza and some regular pizza for Nick and Colin and Emily. Hurry, I'll have to get pizza. I'm just ordering my pizza now. I'm waiting for it to be made. It's waiting. I don't care if you can see, but I'm trying to carry all this pizza to the car and then trying to vlog it, and I can't tell if I'm getting myself in the shot. Anyways, it's kind of funny, but I'm still a little bit self-conscious when people are staring at me while I'm trying to vlog, especially carrying a box of pizzas. <laughs> it's kind of funny. People are like, what the heck is he doing carrying pizzas and holding the camera out and talking to himself? You must think I'm crazy. Yep, I probably am crazy. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna eat some pizza. I'm home with all the pizza. There's all the pizza. Guess nobody's hungry because nobody's in here eating. No one is in here eating and it's all for me. All for me. Hi guys, it is um, after supper, just after supper, we've just had supper, we have pizza. Did you vlog about the pizza? A little bit. Well, anyway, Sam is feeling old. Sam, why are you feeling old? Because I thought John Travolta was 50. We were talking today about, we were talking today about John Travolta, and I said to him, Sam, how old do you think John Travolta is? And he said, I don't know, he's old, like 50. <laughs> I said, no, he's 61. And he's like, holy cow, I can't believe he's 61. And... I reminded him that he's like five years away from being 50, so 50 is not that old. 
But ever since that, he's been stressed out, right? It's pretty old now. You and my walker. <laughs> Other Canada said that we're not going to have like a big fast thaw. It's going to be like a slow, gradual thing. We're not going to have big flood conditions. We'll wait till you see our backyard. Come on, I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, look at this. What are you guys up to? What are you guys up to? Are you playing house, Sophie? Is that what you're feeding your baby? Some Play Doh? Yes, sir. I'm a teenager. Relaxing on this. You're a teenager relaxing on that? Daddy. Well, I'm going outside for a bit. You guys want to come? Sure. Put down my snow pants on. Though. Yeah, just put your boots on. Who cares that you're wearing white in a muddy disaster zone? So we bought the girls a lap. Probably should have bought it for them for Christmas. Because now um, they forgot. They forgot that they have it. They're just, our kids are not. Sam and I are like totally into electronics. Anything that has elect electronic... Anything electronic, we are into. We are like totally hooked, totally addicted. We love it. The girls, no. They just, I don't know if it's their age. I know the boys are into it, but the girls are just not. Look, they didn't even come in and say, hey, where's my laptop? Yeah, I know. They just came in and wanted to play. They never go on this stuff. Okay, so here it is. Okay, look at this. Remember that snowman just from two days ago? That's him. He all, he's all crumpled and crashed down to the ground. He's gone. There's only a little tiny bit of them left. But look at this! Oh, it's all slush. Whoa. Look at that. If that is not flood conditions, I don't know what is. Sophie! What are you doing? You're gonna get soaked! So yeah, every single bit underneath all this snow is pure water. You got what? Twins today? That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Guaranteed. Stand in the deepest part. Guys, guys. Can we pretend you Holy cow. But it's still warm out. Did you notice I don't even have a coat on? It's just beautiful out here. It's probably, I bet you it's like 10 degrees. Or maybe it's only 7 degrees, but no uh, wind. Look what Sam's doing. This is what I've been doing all day. I've been doing that all day, chopping all that snow. The faster that stuff gets out of here, the happier I am. It's like chopping snow. snow. Oh! <laughs> we still have a huge hill of snow there, though. Okay, Sophie, out of the water now, my friend. You know what you call that? You call that desperate. You call that desperate for some sun and some warmth and some heat. We just want to get rid of all that snow so badly so that we can get outside and play with our kids. Operation Get Rid of the Snow has begun. It's a family affair. Even Kyle's helping. Getting rid of all this stuff. We are getting all of our toddler kind of toys out from the backyard that we had stored there because Gabby wants to have a yard sale once it gets warm to donate all of our proceeds to I'm charity. But look at this, I want to show you guys this. What? This. So the other day, I can't even see. Um, the other day, uh, the, we used to have a bee's nest up in this big huge tree here. And the other day, um, yesterday, was it just yesterday? No, the day before. Okay, the day before yesterday, we noticed on our way to the bus stop that um, the bees, the honeycomb fell out of the tree and it was all over the ground here. But look, you can see some little pieces. And you can see the bees. Right there. Oh, and guys, and, and look at look all these here. dead bees. And if you look over here, Sophia stomped on them. Yeah, those are dead smushed bees. And these are dead full bees. The see them all? Like a ton of them. if I should be happy or if I should be sad because um, it's a sin to lose a bunch of honeybees. Actually, I don't even know if they're honeybees or whatever, but um, it's a sin to lose a bunch of bees, but on the other hand, yay, they're not going to sting me or my, my kids. But yeah, this is what the front looks like. Still a ton of snow. Still a ton of snow. It's going quick. It is going quick. Going quick. You said a month. 
I said a week and a half. Yeah, month's almost done. Oh, <laughs> um, we have the vlog. We can look back at the vlog and see who was right. And of course, it's probably never going to be me. Where are you doing? It's going to snow again on the weekend. It's going to snow on the weekend. It better not snow on the weekend. They're covered in mud. You know, whoo. You need a coat on. This, these arms and these feet Oh, my strong. Yeah. Look at you got pizza all over your face. <laughs> yeah, you go and have a bath. Oh, leave it on the, on the driveway. It'll melt. Even when it gets a little bit colder, it still melts as long as there's sun. Did you say it's supposed to get colder tomorrow? Yeah. Like how cold? Uh, it's, it's on the positive, not oh, well that's okay. I can handle some positives. Positives are good. Okay guys, I'm going in because I'm getting chilly. Okay, you guys, I am in a standoff with my dog. Look at this. What? See what she's got there? She got the pizza off the kitchen table. If I let her eat it, she will puke. Ow! And she has got her hands clamped down so tight, she is always obedient. She is not, this is what happens when you turn 10. She's not giving this food up to save her life. Go get dad. Daddy. Abby, give it to me. Yeah. Give me the pizza. Ow, give me the pizza. Uh-oh. Mommy, I got a great idea. Uh, I got a great idea. Watch what happens. Oh, oh, oh okay, she gave it to me. <laughs> You're lucky, Missy, because if Dad had come, you would have been in big trouble. I feel like, I feel like I was just now having Abby's a big fight with a two-year-old. And really, she's 10. Abby's gonna throw up now. Yeah, she will throw up. Because she ate half <laughs> the pizza. This is Kyle and Nick's pizza. That is not good. Your dad is gonna be mad at you. Abby, kissy. I have never seen her do Abby, that before. She took up with the pizza right before my eyes. She jumped up on the counter on the table, took the pizza and ran off with it right before my eyes. What, and I, can I see? What, I mean. And I told what? her to drop it. Who, who? Abby. I told her to drop it and instead of dropping it, look, I got most it. of it. Copy. Instead of dropping it, she took off running Copy. to her crate and she went in there and I grabbed it out of her hey. and I grabbed it out of her mouth and she was not letting go. I've never seen her do that. It must be menopause, poor girl. Maybe it's called maybe it's called dog pause. I heard a noise and it sounded like somebody was in the food. So I came running in here and I saw Abby on the table getting pizza off the table. Just wait, listen. And then what do you think happened? I said, Abby, drop it. And what do you think happened? Do you think she dropped it? Oh, she ran with it. She ran with it. And then, <gasps> look. Oh, she's oh, coming man. back for more. She's coming back for more. Who let that dog in? Me. Or Rebecca. Okay, listen, I'm not done telling you. He always runs off when I'm telling him the story. Uh, so anyways, I chased her down because I did not want her to puke, right? And she went in her crate and then I took it out of her mouth. And what do you think happened when I took it out of her mouth? She growled? No, oh. she would never growl. She fought me for it. I could, she had her lips locked around that thing so tight and we were like in a stalemate. Is that? Oh, poor dog. Poor dog, poor dog. Hey, you get her in whatever. Say something. I will. They're making tea. <laughs> so it's late and I'm here with my dog. Remember that pizza Laura had? So I gave Abby the pizza, so don't tell Laura. And she puked, she puked it up twice. <laughs> she puked it up twice. Oh well. I guess her stomach can't handle any uh, people food anymore. Plus she never really eats people food. The dog food. Poor girl. You all right? You all right there, Abby? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Can't handle people food? Give you good people food and you can't handle it, eh? Hey, right, girl? Clean your eyes. You gotta clean your eyes. Anyways, wanna say good night? Say good night. Good night. Well, good night and see you tomorrow.
be a really nice day tomorrow just like it was today.